Python and Golom are two popular programming languages and choosing one over the other is not simple. That's it, we are going to give you some tips that will help you. Before starting, we invite you to take a look at the links in the description and join our developer community. Don't forget to subscribe. We publish new episodes almost daily, don't miss any of them. Both programming languages are used in many industries. Python is widely used for web development, task automation, data analysis, data visualization, and AI. Golong, on the other hand, is mainly employed for network, cloud development, media platforms, and distributed systems. This doesn't mean that Python is not used in cloud platforms or distributed systems, but Golong is more popular in these areas. The same thing goes for Golong. You can use it for data analysis and AI, but due to many facts, Python excels in these areas better. Answering the question which one to use goes back to understanding different factors, including market, performance, productivity, safety, ecosystem, and simplicity. This is what we are going to discuss today. First thing we're going to discuss here is the market. Python is well established in the market and has a large community of developers. It has a large ecosystem. With over 400,000 libraries, Python developers have access to a wide range of possibilities from web applications to scientific applications. Many applications that you use every day are heavily based on Python, including Instagram and Reddit and AI models powering ChatGPT. Python is also very easy to learn and use, which makes it ideal for beginners and those with limited experience. Golong is also simple, but not as simple as Python. So when it comes to simplicity, Python is definitely the winner. Golong, on the other hand, is relatively new in comparison to Python. It was first released in 2009. However, it has been gaining popularity due to its strong performance and scalability. Golong was created by Google specifically for large-scale systems and is used for cloud-based solutions, microservices, and large-scale data processing. Platforms like Kubernetes and tools like Terraform are using Golong. This programming language is known for its performance and speed, which makes it one of the best choices to build applications with real-time and high availability requirements. It is worth mentioning that Python was and is still supported by Google as one of its main sponsors. Before Golong, Google used Python for many projects and still using it today. When it comes to productivity, Python is a clear winner. Python is interpreted, which means that developers can test and debug their code much faster than they can with Golong. Golong is statically typed, which means that developers need to write more code, and it is more difficult to debug. However, Golong's strong performance and scalability make up for its lower productivity compared to Python. When it comes to safety, Python is known for its dynamic typing, which can lead to issues such as runtime errors. Golong, on the other hand, is statically typed. This means that developers are more likely to catch errors early in the development process. This fact makes Golong a more secure choice for large-scale applications where safety is a concern. The comparison between these two excellent programming languages is clearly more complex than this, but if we try to simplify things and relativize, we'd conclude the following. Choosing Python means sacrificing safety for productivity while choosing Golong means sacrificing productivity for safety. Finally, never underestimate the power of having a large community when choosing. Python has a large and well-established community of developers and a vast ecosystem, including libraries and frameworks, which makes it easy for developers to build complex applications. Golong has a growing community of developers and is gaining popularity, but it does not yet have the same level of support as Python. Python, which was first released in 1991, is older than Golong, so it is normal to see Python being more popular. Both Python and Golong are great programming languages, but each one has its own strengths and weaknesses. In this quick comparison, we based ourselves on some specific requirements, like performance, productivity, safety, community, and simplicity. 
A good developer understands that these two languages are not rivals but complementary. You are not necessarily obliged to choose one over the other. A combination of both can work very well. Docker developers, for instance, use Golong for their Docker engine and Python for Docker Compose. That was 5 minutes programming. Make sure to check out the links in the description and join our developer community. See you tomorrow.